I wish this video could open like this one did. Time for another video. Had these kicking around for a while. Awesome song. Until I get the, uh, the old ThinkPad up there running, which I haven't done yet. And uh, I got these little, like, kidsy kind of sprinklers in that, but I'm dying to try them out. Let's go check it out. But instead, it has to open like this. I don't know if you can see that, but that is uh, pretty bad. And it's actually still snowing, too. Yeah, that's just lovely. Absolutely lovely. It's not done snowing. This is Storm Orlina. Orlina! Oh, shit! It's not done snowing now. And it's probably not going to be done till the next day. But I'm going to get started now because pretty soon it's going to be over the top of the snowblower. And I don't think it's going to like that kind. So let me get everything fired up. Now I'm not going to be showing you the whole snow blowing process but the first step in snow blowing is to turn on the bench. So that's on and now turn the heater on and that'll heat up within a few moments. Now you're going to say putting this heater on you have the door open what's the point? It's all going out the door. No that's not the point. The point is it doesn't go out the door. Yeah, some does, but I'm not looking to heat the garage to 70 degrees. I'm looking to get it a little bit more palatable than three. And even with the door wide open, this will do it. And indeed, we are warming up. So that's all good. We'll let that chooch while we're snow blowing. I'm going to get a, a hat on over here and some gloves in that after I start the snow blower up. But that's the next step. Somebody else has a snowblower out already, so that signals that it's snowblower season, so it should start. I did just have this started yesterday, and I had left everything in the proper configuration for a, uh, an easy start. So we'll just prime it. Yep, now it's puking gas out of the carb. That's what I wanted. That's what it was supposed to do yesterday. But now, we just hit the button, and we're almost sure to fire. Well, it's late o'clock now. I don't know what you can see, but still just a couple of flurries. I made one path down the sidewalk, and it ends exactly at the edge of the fence. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Now, back here, clean the driveway out, and roll that right out into the street. See the little humps there? They're going to be gone real soon, especially when the plow comes by again. Cleaned out the street over here. Didn't do the cars on the sides. The other neighbor deck has his snow blower. I don't know what he's doing. But I just made just a path of the snow blower out. I wasn't going to go through and do everything again and make it nice and wide because I'm done playing nice. I'm done being a nice guy with this fucking snow. And again, I'll tell you why in a minute. So here, of course, I missed the turn as I usually do. 
I got this done, Steph's the whiff shoveled out. So that was that. Cleaned off part of my car and hers. So that's really it as far as the snow went. Now we had a couple other things. Oh, first off, we got some icicles just dangling. Beautiful. I'm going to leave them. Oopsie, I broke one off. But I'm going to leave them. They're actually kind of nice. And yeah, that's frozen on. There we go. Alrighty. So that was all the snow. And as far as the snow blower, the snow blower did just fine. Oh, it's got a snow in it. That's actually the gear case that's covered. Um, after the belt tightening, it worked great. In fact, it worked a little too well. See these guys? The auger and the little sharp kinds. Yeah, apparently I had a little problem over here because I came down here and the snowblower kicked up like that and actually put a gash in that. How that could even reach that, I don't know, because it's, you know, it looks like it doesn't even extend past it, but I guess maybe as it rotates around, it just has enough meat to get in there. So I'm snow blowing, snow blowing, snow blowing. So I have a choice. I could blow it into my garage, or I could blow it over here, or I could blow it over here. Where do you think I'm going to blow it? Do you see how this car, the side is covered? And that car, what's left of it, the side is covered. This one's not. That's where the snow went. And then somebody came outside. I learned that Mrs. fucking Chitalian got a new job. And her new job is to make everybody else's life miserable. Isn't that a lovely job? I wonder what they pay her for that. I really do. Why do you want to go around life making everyone else's life miserable? I don't fucking understand that. She starts yelling out, The snow is hitting my truck! Yeah? So? I mean, it wasn't hitting it, hitting it. Like, I wasn't next to it and pummeling the fucking thing. It was on the down of the arc. You know, I wasn't aiming for it. It's just, I'm sorry, that's how far the snowblower blows. Why don't you get one and find the fuck out? They don't have one. And you know what's really nice about that? They don't have one. And then she's yelling at me about this. But if she was just nice, I could have snowblowed right in front of her house. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? That was instant karma right there. She never even leaves the fucking house anymore. Never even leaves the house. If she goes out, it's like five minutes to go to the store, get a loaf of bread, and come back. She's always fucking here. Ever since Calderona. And all she does is be a pain in the ass time and again. Time and again. Even when I was blowing out my sprinklers back in, oh fuck, I don't know, October, whatever it was, she had that window open over there. But she didn't like the sound of the air going through the system. So she looked out and went, ah, oh, and slammed the window. My God, can, can, like, what happens? A pin drops and you go ape shit? Do you have anything fucking better else to do with your life? I do something with my life. I don't leave. I don't have to go to work. And I found something to do. I find plenty of stuff to do every day. Instead of just sit there and listen for potential sounds outside. So as far as this goes, it just is. It's really a shame. I'll get a file on the sharp edge. Fill it in with white cork and be done with it. There's nothing else I can do. That really sucks. But... There's, you know, I mean, it could have been my, my arm in there, so I guess it's best off that way. I, I really wish I knew how the fuck it grabbed it, but it did. That was that. It performed absolutely flawlessly. 
obviously it's covered with snow everywhere I just shut it off again I didn't drain the fuel out of it whole control panel is just completely inundated with snow but I didn't drain it because we're gonna get yet another two inches or so tomorrow so that's gonna do it just gonna leave this in the garage let it melt out and this is no wimpy snow blower because in places the snow is really like here and then I see Isaac 24 with his little shitty two cycle Wee! and then he's just you know push 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 you do like the two-step shuffle kind of thing and you end up getting a bigger workout than you would just by using a damn shovel it's not worth it get a self-propelled two or even three stage model and you could snow blow like a fucking gentleman instead of just being a cheap bastard it's worth the money I had to invest it because I didn't have one and I had a little shitty one and it was just too much work so I said fuck it I'm buying one and it was the best money I've ever spent on a device like this because it's performed absolutely flawlessly anyway that's enough babbling bullshit the cold makes a guy want to talk and stand outside I never understood that you ever see people just stand outside and talk and it's ice cold and there's snow out and they talk for a half hour it's cold out you idiots anyway I'm guilty of it too so I'm gonna shut up go in warm up and put this guy away and that's it so this was the cleanup from storm Charlena Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.